Hey guys, welcome back. And if you are a part of the Super Glam fam, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. I definitely appreciate you and thank you for all the video that you've watched. And if you are interested in this hair, um, there's a video on the hair. I'll link it up above. Make sure I just put it here so I can know to link it. And then I just did a video on this foundation. It's the Il Maquillage Foundation. So you'll get my views on that in the video um, I'm linking up here. And if you are new to this channel, I want to encourage you to go down and like and subscribe to this channel. If you like what you see, like it, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that every time I film a video, you'll be able to watch it. And so we are going to get into um, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I was watching uh, Beauty in the Frizz. I watch her channel. I watch a lot, a lot of YouTube. Like, that's what I watch. When I don't watch TV, I don't watch a lot of Netflix. I don't watch a lot of Hulu and all that stuff. I watch YouTube. Okay. I watch beauty videos, hair videos, nail videos. That's what I watch. You know, it's what I love. And so I inundate myself with it, especially people who have great personality. I just really enjoy watching them and supporting them in their channels. And so um, Beauty and the Frizz did a, a Pretty in Pastels um, video and I think um, a beauty um, YouTuber named Monique started the challenge, but I'm going to put her information down below so that you can know who actually started this. It's not really a challenge, but it's just... Um, you know, a video that a lot of people are doing and they're the group of women that are doing it. So I decided, you know, why not? I have a lot of palettes that I just have and they're beautiful, but I don't play in them. And so that's one of the reasons why I started this channel is so that I can play more in my makeup <laughs> and also try new looks, you know, try to be creative and try new looks. And it's definitely been such a beautiful outlet for me to try to do it, even though I have a small audience right now. I mean, that does not matter. If I get a chance to get up in the morning and try out a new look, I love it. So I fell in love with Glam Light. And so when I was able to get Glam Light on discount or sale, I racked up. So we're going to do not a whole face, but a majority of face of my face is going to be Glam Light today. And so, um, like I said, I did the Il Maquillage. And so what else we have? I have um, Glam Light. Highlighter and Concha. Okay, so we'll be putting that on my face. We'll be using, and I got to get my glasses if I can't see what's on here, the Calligraphy Eyeliner Pen. Okay, we'll try to use that. We're going to use the um, powder brush for our powder today instead of the one I normally use. We are going to use, I have the Cappuccino lips um this gloss hold on i can't see i just got some new glasses from Boogney. and i'm going to do a video on that experience too this is um hmm I don't know if it's a gloss. We'll take it out and find out what it is. Okay, if it's a gloss. And then we have some lashes. I'm going to see which one I'm going to wear. I have the margarita lashes. I have the gingerbread lashes. And then I have the taco lashes. Because I have, um, I didn't get a chance to get the, which box was it? I didn't get a chance to get the, I guess I did. No, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to get the box for the gingerbread one. Um, but I got another box and they came in them. So I have the taco palette, the cake palette, um, the two paint um, palettes. I have those. I have the chocolate donut. I have the regular donut. And I have the apple pie. Oh, that's another thing. We'll be using the apple pie. Okay, we'll be using the blush that's in the apple pie. Okay, and then we'll be using the feature presentation. Yes, I kept it in the box. I had to. It's so pretty. I can't wait to 
have a place to display it. We're going to be using the Glam Light. And I'm just so excited. I mean, literally, I have not used it. I have not done anything. So, I'm trying to take it out. I got these nails on. You see my nails? Um, I got them from Amazon. They're like Amazon nails. I'll link them down below if you like them. They're like a jean nautical. I thought it was cute for spring. All right, I just got something to help me take the take it out the box. All right, so we're gonna get into this eye look. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I have no idea. I have no plan. I'm just gonna see what called out to me. I just want to do something pretty in pastels. That's what I want to do. I want to stick to the theme. So if you have not seen his beautiful palette, Untouched, <laughs> here it is. It is absolutely gorgeous. And so, I mean, of course, for me, I'm looking at these pinks because that's all I love to do. It had a lot of pinks and purples in it, so I really was, like, excited. Um, Beauty in the Fridge did, like, a yellow and blue look that was nice. Um, I did a green look. Maybe a pastel. Maybe. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, do I have the boldness to do something that is... I'm li I like this little corner down here. This little corner. And what would I put? Would I put green on my lid? Purple on my lid? I don't even know how to start something like that. All right, we're going to try it. <laughs> Y'all can tell I'm scared, right? We're going to try it. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to be adventurous. Try to step out my comfort zone. I didn't even get my right brushes and stuff I did I need out here. So bear with me while I try to figure out what I'm going to use for brushes. Um, okay. So, oh, I didn't prime my lids. Now, you know, with a palette like this, I'm going to have to come out of the box with the primer. You hear me? Like, not even playing. It needs a lot. Like, it needs to be white. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make it white. As white as I can get it. So, we can have a white base. So, we can really have something to play on. The only thing I don't like about this is that if you cake too much on, it's going to tell on you. It's not even going to let you live. A fake life. See, it's already turning. Okay, let me get something to kind of. I feel so unprepared. I don't like coming in here being fake with y'all. I like coming in here being real. And not to say other people are fake, I'm just saying just me what I like. I like watching videos where you really see how a person truly is. They don't hide nothing. They don't try to sugarcoat nothing. They're not trying to put on an act for you. They're just like you. Because then it make you feel like when you watch their videos, like you're hanging out with one of your girlfriends. Like, you know, somebody called you up. I mean, one of your girlfriends called you up and said, hey, girl, did you get that palette? Hey, I'm going to try this palette. Let's try it on together. That's what it feels like. And so I try to give that same, you know, feel to my channel. And sometimes it's like, I don't even want to be talking while I'm putting on the makeup. Because I don't want, I want everybody to kind of see the process on the makeup. But today, I decided I'm going to talk. Just until I get to, I know y'all like, why are you putting it all the way down there? Because that's where it's going. I'll fix it up later. I just don't want to go back in it with the, um, with the, I want it to be white like it is right now. 
Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm praying that it stays like this grayish white while I put everything on. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to, try to look out. I'm going to speed it up for you. And then I'm going to, I got to make sure I look at the right. <laughs> I do that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and speed it up while I do um, the look. And then we'll talk afterwards on how I felt about the products, okay? And so let me make sure that I keep, I'm getting framed and I'm looking at you directly, all right?
Okay, I had to take it off for a minute because I done got stuck. I want to put something in my eye, but I just don't know what to do. Like, I'm thinking about putting the gold on my eye, but I think I'll mess it up. Maybe I should put the yellow on my eye. I'm like, maybe the purple because that's the only one I haven't really, really, really used yet. Okay, so why don't I take... Yeah, I'm going to come back. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to wipe all that off, like this part right here. I'm going to redo that cut crease, and then, because I'm not a cut crease master anyway. Redo the cut crease, and then I'm going to put the purple right there. But this blended beautifully, like, and I don't even have my eyebrows on. I didn't do my eyebrows, because I'm probably going to let my eyebrows go all the way up, or just up and then down, like, more of a dramatic brow. So... We'll see, but these blended, look at that. I'm not even a professional. And look at that blend. I wanted to do something that emulated this. Okay, so let me see if I can do that. All right, I'll be, I'll be right back with a quick version of me putting on that um, purple. All right, I decided to talk through this part. So I did my cut crease. It's not the best cut crease. Well, I did it off camera so y'all didn't have to suffer do that cut crease now I'm grabbing my my thing and I'm gonna try to do it with my finger first I'm gonna try to use I don't know if that's a shimmer this oh that's pretty all right it would be nice if I can use a brush let's see if it'll pick up with a brush. And I got a blending brush because I want it to be feathery. I hope I didn't mess this whole look up now. I wanted the purple. I thought the purple because I thought it would blend nicely into this purple that I have right here. And counter this purple can counteract this what I got right here. So it's definitely a bold look. I don't know if I got it. Now I'm just messing up. <laughs> now I'm just doing something. I gotta get a pencil brush for that. All right. So I'm gonna put pink under my eye. This one. And then I'm going to take and try to get into that pink. So you can use a feathery brush on her shimmers. See, I didn't know that. And I'm sitting up here. You know, not trying to use a feathery brush, and I could. I can use a feathery brush. All right, let me go back into. I need to go back into that blue because that blue is missing now. That um, I wish I could tell you the shades, but because <laughs> because let me pack that blue back in there. Those shades. Uh, now I like I gotta be able to see to tell you. Oh, the blue. Go back into that purple. That original purple. These type of looks take a lot of blending because, well, not with this palette. But normally, like, these type of looks take so much blending and so much work. I'm just so surprised how effortless. I mean, it's not the best blending job in the world. But for me, like me, the little old me that don't do nothing, nobody, I don't be doing this type of makeup. Not even in the least little bit. And it's just, it's just flowing. You see how that's flowing? Now, I probably shouldn't have put the yellow where I put it. But I think it makes it stand out to put it there. 
I'm just going over everything. And this is the first time I really did like a rainbow look. So I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. I think it came out good. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off again. I'm going to do this side, this side, and then I'm going to come back. All right? All right. So what have I done so far? I blended it off the best I can. I kind of smoked it out on the sides. I cleaned up under my eye. Gotta look this way. <laughs> I put, I used this Glam Light Calligraphy pen over my eye. And the reason why I did it off camera is because your girl don't got skills like that. So I had to do it off camera. And the next thing I'm gonna do, um, I don't got skills like that either, but I figured I gotta do something on camera. <laughs> I can't just come back and whole look is done. And I'm using some of the product. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my lash glue. First I gotta pick a lash. Okay, we got the gingerbread, just like flare so I can see through it. That might be good. We got the margarita mix. See, I'm not going to be, I can see through those, but I don't know. I don't think that's the one. Now you got your heart set on something. Yeah, even the taco one is too, I think with the gingerbread lashes, I'm going to, you're going to be able to see the look more. And again, I'm not a professional guy. So if you see some um, issues with my blending or issues with stuff like that, it's because I don't really know. I'm not a professional. So I'm not going to say I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm not a professional. Professionals will know how to blend better and do stuff like that. So, you know. Okay, I gotta cut this. This is a little bit too. Sometimes I wear them a little long, and then sometimes I just I won't take the risk. Okay, so I'm gonna cut one section off of this for the let me. All right. Let's see now. Is that looking like? Yeah, that's better. All right, so I'm going to take the do. I'm gonna look over here into the mirror because I gotta take this glue and put it on my lash line. And so I'll just wipe it on my lash line. I like the brush for duo. I mean for a kiss better, but this dries faster, I think. Now for niggling it, making sure it's down where it's supposed to be because it's fighting me right now. I don't want to like lay down. Or maybe I should have finagled these. Finagle means I should have took the band and did like this. I'm going to do it when I do the next one. So now I got the black stuff all. Nope, that's not. Now I got the black stuff all in here. It's coming out. All right, so I'm going to finagle these a little bit. I do like this. That's how I finagle it. All right, try it again. Put it on the lash line. That's why sometimes you see my lash line be a little wonky. It's because I got to put the glue on the lash line in order to get the lash on like seamlessly. If not, okay, I need to get in close. I should have did this off camera. This is why people do it off camera. But y'all deserve to see the realness. I don't want to discourage you from wearing lashes. And it's not the brand. That's not the problem. 
the problem is user error okay now i got the lash on i'm gonna go and smush the lash make sure they're together make sure my lash and this lash is it's actually the glue oh my goodness it's so tacky like it's so tacky okay yeah see that's better for the look all right let's see if i can get this other one on <laughs> actually i'm gonna put this other one on off camera let me do the um let me do what else i wanted to do i wanted to do the highlighter and the blush so let's do the blush i have this cute ooh, let's get dropping i have this cute glam light brush it was like Oh, it doesn't go up and down, but this is how it looks. Maybe I should use this for my blush. Okay, I'm going to take the Apple Pie palette out. Because that has a blush in it. The other ones have highlighters in it. And this one has a blush in it. Now I got to try to get the palette out of the box. Get these nails. I don't want to tear up my palette. And then the, the lash is sticky because <laughs> I had to put two coats of lash on it. So it's like sticky. All right, let me come in here. All right, let me make sure this lash is on, guys. This is why people do it off camera because it is not foolproof. There's technical difficulties when doing this. <laughs> All right, so we got the pie palette. And open it up. It has a mirror. And it says pie. And then there's the blush. So we're going to try this blush. Pretty, pretty blush. It's like a mauve tone, I guess. Strawberry. Like tone. I don't know if I'm putting too much on there. You about to find out. Ooh. Y'all right, know I like a lot of blush though. I like looking like a cabbage Fest kid. That's pretty. It's a little bit light, but I think it goes with a pastel look. Now, I'm just looking in the camera. I'm not looking in the mirror. I should. That would be nice, right? I haven't put on any... Bro I haven't put on any... Um, any... Uh, uh, I haven't put on any contour. I haven't put on... I gotta look over here. I'm all messed up. This this video gonna be wonky. I haven't put on any um, bronzer. I haven't put on any contour. This is just my bare face. Okay. So the brush is okay. I'm getting a little bit of shedding with the brush. Probably should have combed it out first. Um, I do love the, the blush. I think it's really pretty. I think it, it fits my complexion nice. It just really looks like a blush. Normally, what I wear looks like, like pigment on the face. <laughs> <laughs> not a blush this looks like a blush i know i finally found the camera right that's because in my earlier earlier this this video i had it on this side and now I got it on this side so that's why i look a little wonky okay and now highlighter um i'm going to use a highlighter brush i was going to, i was thinking about using this brush but i think i'm going to use a highlighter brush for the highlighter because it's a loose pigment so this is going to be interesting too let's see do i have a highlighter brush do i have one free okay found one all right now this is like the con contra contra i guess that's a cookie okay Oh, that's so pretty and purple. 
Uh, this is going to be... Uh, whew. I'm going to start off real small. I can't look at the mirror because the mirror is... All right, it's not a good mirror in here. Let me get my mirror. All right, I see what I'm doing. All right, I think it's on this side. Woo oh, that's icy. That's so pretty. It is so pretty and icy. I'm even adding it to what I already got. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. I know a lot of people don't like icy. Now, see, I already have a natural glow with all these lights. But look at that. It just looks like. Oh, my goodness. That is so pretty. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad I did that. I'm so glad I bought that. That is so pretty, guys. That's pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, so I'm happy about that. All right, so let's do the lips and then I'll do the other eye off camera and then I'll come back and do a quick review. Yeah, because we are going to be here all day with me trying to put on that eye on camera. That's why everybody say no, no, no. So this is a gloss. So I'm going to have to put a lip on and then put this on. Let's see what it look like. Let's do a, let's see if it's opaque. Yeah, it's a gloss. Okay. This smells too. And not bad, it has like a light coffee scent. Okay, so I'm lining my lips. And a brown color, like a brownish red. And my lips are a little dry. Cause I ran out of my bite beauty. I, I don't know if I, I probably said this before because of my surgery, my lips are really dry. And I had this bite beauty. Whew, I'm telling you, I think I want to do like a brownish. I think I'm going to do a brownish lip. Okay. I'm taking my Maybelline Super Stay Matte. It's the, out of the coffee collection. And I'll put it down below which one it is. Because I'll have to put on my glasses. Okay. Mmm. I got to get another one of these. Not only is it my favorite color, but it smells just like coffee. Oh, my goodness. Woof. Make my lips look so luscious. Yeah, I gotta get another one. That's an investment. Okay, now for the Champorito. Champ Champorito. Yeah, Champorito. I don't know. I'm probably messing that up. Yeah, it has like a light scent. It's thick. But it's comfortable. Okay. All right, let me go do this other eye and I'll come back and talk. Hey guys. Okay, this is the final look. I got everything on. I still struggled with this lash. I don't know what was going on. I don't think it's the lash. I think it's the glue. Um, and then I just put this lip on, which you already saw. Um, I mean, I didn't do anything different. All I did was put that lash on. <laughs> so there we go. Well, again, thank you. If you stay to the end, put a clown emoji. Uh, not uh, Angelica Nequist. Always ask for clown emoji. She always calls herself a colorful clown. And I really love 
the way this eye look came out. It really challenged me and I really enjoyed the challenge. And so I hope you like it. If you don't, it's okay. <laughs> you all hurt my feelings. I know that I'm not a complete makeup artist yet. I don't have my blend game 100 yet. Well, anyway, thank you again for staying to the end and watching. If you stay to the end, leave the clown emoji. Thank you all my super glam stands for holding it down with me. And I hope you watch the next video. It's going to be my boxy charm um, unboxing. All right. <laughs> Bye.